So it's that time of year where I get to start making some Halloween crafts and I had an idea. So I got this silicone mold here, this jack-o'-lantern, and I think instead of using resin, I'm going to use air dry clay. So I'm going to knead the clay up and everything and then flatten it out on the table. Then I'm going to press this in as more like of a more like a stamp kind of thing. And then I'm going to go through with the clay tools and cut it out to the exact dimensions and everything it needs to be. Then I'm going to kind of smooth over the edges and make it more rounded to make it look more realistic. So I don't have that, you know, flat flat bit on the outside there. And uh, then once that's all dried up and I'm going to go ahead and paint it and the eyes and mouth are going to be indented in the clay so there's going to be holes there so what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to pour some yellow resin in there to fill the eyes and the mouth kind of like there's a candle inside the jack-o'-lantern lighting it up and then uh, once that's all done I'm going to put a background uh, on this this little wooden panel that I painted black and I'm just gonna glue the pumpkin on there and I think it'll look really cool I've got this craft paper that I'm probably gonna use I'm probably gonna use one of these for the background I think it'll look pretty cool and uh, so yeah uh, this is pretty different but uh, I'm real excited about this one because I think it's gonna look really cool so let's get started
and it is done and it's looking good. I really love the way that turned out. And I mean, it just goes to show you don't have to really do an overly complicated craft project to make something that looks good. I mean, just something that simple, you know, glue the paper on and then glue the pumpkin on. Most time consuming thing was waiting for the clay to dry. And then, uh, then of course, waiting for the uh, resin that's in the mouth and eyes, waiting on that to cure. But other than that, I mean, this was a really fun, quick, little, easy project. And uh, I think I'm going to make another one of these, maybe even some variations, like maybe a ghost instead of a pumpkin or like a, a black cat or a witch or whatever. Because uh, I've still got plenty of that paper left and I've still got a couple more of these uh wooden things so uh plus even if i want more dollar tree has them for a dollar 25 i mean they've always got piles of them so i can always get more so yeah uh i really like the way this turned out it was a really cool idea and it turned out better than i hoped for really so, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.